guys, my name's Kelsey and I'm here to talk to you about Kn and filters. So, um, as you guys probably know, I have a Ford Fiesta Zutex Sport. It is 2009 1.6 engine. And um, I've been tired off recently because I haven't cleaned my air filter in a very long time. So generally when it comes around to when my car needs a service, I will actually give my car to somebody else to service because I just don't really have the time and it also helps me learn more because I don't know everything about cars, I'm literally learning as I go along, uh, which the MX-5 as well, my other car, is being very helpful with at the moment because it just keeps breaking on me, but hey. Anyway, my k air, air filter. So normally when you have a service, your air filter will be changed for a new one, but if you've got an upgraded air filter, that's not often the case. Generally, you just need to clean your filter and it's really actually an easy procedure. Um, again, I didn't really know that I could do it myself until I realized I needed my service again and my guy was like, yeah, so what filter do you have? Um, do you clean it? And I was like, what? Like, I, I had no idea, honestly. I, I just didn't have a clue. So my air filter hasn't been clean in a very, very long time. Probably since I put it on. I didn't even know. That could be like two years. It's absolutely filthy anyway. So I'm going to get it out for you guys anyway and show you at some point. But I actually don't have the tool to open it right now. I need to nip to Halfords in a minute and get one. And then I'll show you guys. But yeah, the cleaning fluid. Anyway, I got mine from eBay. It was $12.95 and it's literally just called the k &R Air Air Filter Cleaning Kit. And it comes with two things, which I believe is a spray and an oil. Anyway, I ordered that yesterday. It should be here tomorrow. As soon as it gets here, I'm going to open it up, check out all the like packaging, see what it tells me, and go from there and show you guys how to do it. I hope you enjoy this video and I hope it's helpful. Thank you so much to everyone that does watch my videos. I'm hugely grateful for all your love and support as always. And I love making these videos for you. Um, as always, comment below. Tell me what you want to see or what you want me to do because uh, that's just all the fun of it. So take care guys. Hi guys, so um, I'm back today. Uh, the k and Air Filter Cleaner has arrived. And the weather sucks outside, unfortunately, but I'll still record and go and show you how I get that air filter out. So the cleaning kit's here. Um, there are actually instructions inside, which are really helpful, but I'll make it easy for you guys, and I will basically make you a video on these instructions. So when you read the back of the packet, it's really serious with regards to not swallowing any of the contents, and it's asked you to wear eye protection and gloves. I'm not going to wear eye protection, I'm just going to be really careful, so just to let you guys know that um, it does seem really strict with regards to getting these fluids on your skin or anything really. So um, we're going to have to be careful with this one, just take our time, which we're going to make a mess of the kitchen, and we'll go from there. Anyways, in the contents you get two products. You get a spray, which is the cleaning spray and you get an oil and a nice little bottle with a little flip up thing which is quite convenient let's see if we can get that up show you guys yeah right so basically you clean the filter first with the cleaning spray leave it to soak rinse it through you can do that a couple of times it says on the sheet and then you will apply the oil after it's dry so if you're going to clean your okay, air filter be aware that uh, it might take a while because you have to wait for the air filter to dry before you can add the oil so you won't be able to drive your car for a couple of hours maybe, depending on how long it takes to drive. So yeah, make sure you do it maybe in an evening at the end of the day when you know you're not going to be using the car through the night so you can leave the filter to dry during that time. But yeah, anyway, let me go and take you now uh, to go and take the air filter off. Okay, so this is my air filter. So mine's a k and um, Everyone's might look a little bit different. Mine has four nuts, one, two, three, four. Um, so basically all I've got to do is take them off to get the air filter out. I'm using a T30, like that. And the bolts don't all come all the way out either. So it's them like safe bolts kind of thing, so you don't lose them. So there's just no way they actually just don't come out, which is actually kind of convenient. Although if your nuts, like if your nuts get like old and horrible, then it's a bit no annoying, but... Uh, I'll just faff around a bit, I guess. Let me just get this off anyway and show you. I do apologise, my engine bay is absolutely filthy. I've not cleaned it in such a long time. Such a disappointment. <laughs> okay. Just put that in the pocket. 
Okay, it's also a loose, you literally just lift that off and you will see your air filter. There's mine. It fits really nicely in. Let me just lighten this camera up so that you can see. Okay, I've just lightened the camera up so you can still see the filter better. Um, it basically just slots right in. You just pick it up just like that and then just place this plastic down. So that's your clean side, that's your dirty side. Mine's absolutely filthy. Um, yeah, so I'm just going to take that away now into the kitchen and show you how we clean it. Okay, so the first process you do is basically just get your K&A spray cleaner and spray both sides of the air filter as much as possible, just go absolutely mad. We're already getting dirt drop down from it. So once it's fully sprayed, you just want to leave that there for 10 minutes to let the um, cleaner soak in and pull out all of the dirt. Do not leave it too long that the cleaner dries on it though, you want it to stay damp, okay? Once I've left it for 10 minutes, I'll come straight back to you guys and show you the next step. Okay, so I'm back after 10 minutes now. You can see a lot of dirt has already come out of this filter. Uh, so basically all we need to do now is rinse it through with low pressure, cool water. So I'm just going to add a little bit of heat to it. Okay, so basically all I did then was literally just rinse this through. Um, I actually recorded this a moment, but I did not hit record, which is kind of embarrassing. But basically when I rinsed this out, the amount of dirt that came out was insane. It was just flooding out. That's literally all you do. Just get it everywhere. I literally can't believe how much cleaner it's coming out already. But you want to rinse the filter through from the top side down so you are rinsing the dirt out of the filter, if that makes sense. So your dirty side will be on the bottom of the water as such. So it's rinsing through the filter and pushing all of that dirt out. There's not much left to come out of here now because I literally did it a minute ago. And because mine was pretty dirty, I'm going to repeat that process now. So I'm going to spray it all completely again, wait another 10 minutes and rinse it again. I totally recommend doing it twice if your filter is as dirty as mine is. See, there's still dirt coming out the bottom of that. I don't know if you can see the colour of the water that's running out still. back now for after the second time I've sprayed it just put that aside and I'm just gonna rinse it out again right okay I need to keep my hands out of the shot I totally watched back the video and realized that my hands were in the way so let's get this right this time work it in and again remember to rinse it from the top downwards Okay, right, I think that's more or less cleaned out now. Just gonna give it a shake. And all we have to do now is leave the air filter to dry out naturally. Yeah, I can't believe how clean that's already looking compared to what it was. I can almost see through it, I don't know whether you guys can. There was no chance of seeing through that filter before I cleaned it. It was absolutely filthy. Hey guys, I'm back today. Um, I've left the filter to dry overnight. It is completely dry now and ready for the oil. As you can see, I've left the camera on really bright so that you can see me pouring the oil into here. I obviously don't want you to miss it. 
Otherwise, that would suck. Oh. God, this is a nightmare to open. Oh, there we go. We'll do it like that instead, shall we? Gosh, how annoying. Okay, here we go. Right, so the instructions say that you put the oil in and you run it down along the plates. Okay, so I'm just going to do that in front of you right now. Oh, look at that. There's a bloody cap on the inside of the thingy. That's why I can't get it out. Tempting. <laughs> okay. Okay, right, so I'm going to put that back over here on my tissue and let that soak in for about 20 minutes now. Okay, so my air filter is now finished. I left it to soak in, the oil to soak in for about 20 to 30 minutes and I can now put it straight back into the filter. Make sure you put it the right way up. Obviously you've got the notches around the edge so you can't really do it wrong. Then all you have to do is do it them four nuts again. And that is everything. Okay guys, and that is literally everything. It's really easy to clean your filter. Again, just remember that you do have to leave it to dry before you put the oil on, so make sure you do it at a time when you don't need your car. I did mine overnight, so then I know it. I didn't have to worry about it. Uh, thank you so much for watching my video, I really hope it was helpful. Please do like and subscribe to my channel and I will do my best to post more content for you. I've also got one last more thing to say before Jack turns the camera off. <laughs> this t-shirt here is from Static Autopsy. Um, massive thank you to you guys for sending this t-shirt over to me, I absolutely love it. And I completely just, like vouch for these guys, I love their clothes. They're amazing. I will drop the link to their website below this video so if you want to go see, see that stuff check out their ground or anything like that please do so so take care guys until the next video